plus and in between two double plus signs we will write so what we will write we will click this username text box and go to the properties and copy the name of this text box which we have written or which we have provided earlier and I will paste it here in between these two text boxes okay I think I have provided this quotes in different manner so just delete this double quotes from here and after your single quote provide this double quote so is equal to single quote and then double quote and then plus and then your variable name and we will do it here also we'll delete this double quote here and provide this inside the single quote single quote double quote and plus and this is my text box variable name before this text box I will write this and provide this arrow pointer and after this text box variable I will provide once again a arrow variable and write text okay so select star from database dot table where username is equal to this so what it will do is take your text from your text box and pass them into the query where username is present and after that where new username is equal to this and write and password is equal to once again single quote in between them double quote and in between them plus sign and once again we will go to our form and this time we will click this password field and then we will copy its name and just paste it in between this plus sign and after this I will write text and before this text box variable I will write this and this arrow pointer okay so we have written select star from database dot table where username is equal to whatever you have and you enter in your user text text box and and password whatever you enter in your password text box now we have created this try and catch block and we have created this while loop in the previous video so just above your while loop you will declare a variable which is a local variable int count okay and just initialize it is equal to zero and now go to your while loop inside your while loop which we have created last time and in here while count is equal to count plus one okay so what it will do is it will search for the password and if it reads the password and username into your database it will count and increase it by one the initial value of your count variable is zero so if it reads the password and it find it find it it will increase the count by one so your count will become one when 
it will find your username and password into your database but for example you have more than one username and password which are same so if you have duplicate username or password it will increase the count by one more or what how many whatever amount of duplicate values are present so if you have duplicate username it will count two or three times depending upon your duplicate values and it will transfer this into this variable so now go outside your while loop and here you will write if bracket and this curly bracket and if you will provide the condition count is equal to 1 then give me a message so if count is equal to 1 that means your password and username is correct so uh, you will show a message so you will write message box double colon and write show and in between this you will write double quotes and write username and password is correct okay and if if once again I will provide a if statement so if count is equal to 1 username and password is correct else if sorry else if count is greater than 1 then what we will show your username and password are duplicate okay so just write this message box message message box double colon show and username and password is correct instead of this is correct you will write duplicate username and password okay and you can also write access denied so if duplicate username and password is present into your database then you can deny the access else you can write the message or in any other condition username and password is not correct okay and write please try again so let our code is complete now and let's try to run the program so I will just click this and click yes and it will run my code so I will go to my SQL database and I can see hmm, I have one and one username and password so I will try to enter username and password one and one here username is one password is one and I will click login and it says username and password is correct okay so it verifies my username and password you can see here I have duplicate password you and username five and five there are two times same username and password is used so five and five and five and five so if I provide here 
username as 5 and password as 5 it should show me the duplicate username and password so I will click login and it says duplicate name username and password access denied so that's also true and in the third condition I have username and password up to 7 so for example I provide some other username and password for example something anything instead of which is not matching my username and password and I will click login and it says username and password is not correct please try again later so in this way you have made a login page with the help of your windows form application in the next video I will show you how you can open a second form when you click this login button and how to hide this and open a next form when you log in to your system so I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now